Juno-nominated Toronto Tabla Ensemble has mesmerized audiences using the rhythms and grooves of North India to collaborate with music and dance from around the world. And everybody wants to study this. First thing they come to Tabla class and go, can you show us how to do doing? <laughs> Tabla maestro Ritesh Das founded the ensemble in 1991 and since then has performed globally, produced award-winning music and trained generations of students through his academy in Canada. The kind of music I do is I take the rhythmic style of North Indian classical music and, and I blend it with other styles. So, for example, it could be tabla and taiko, tabla and flamenco, tabla, rock, you know, anything which you can think about. I think tabla goes with any kind of uh, music, musical form. After living in Toronto for 40 years, we decided to move to London. I always wanted to have a house and a garden and also a recording studio. So that's, that's what's happening. And why did I move to London? Because it was a very peaceful, quiet and beautiful place to move. The pandemic didn't uh, influence uh, my performance, but uh, what it did was interrupted my classes, my live classes, which helped me to generate uh, music actually. So then I had to rethink how can I do, bring the same energy to compose music. Right now I'm working on my next album, which is uh, my own solo album, uh, where I am collaborating with other musicians and um, working with few members of the ensemble and exploring to bring a new sound in my music, which is very much cinematic and uh, making the sound much more richer. I'm working with a whole lot of guest artists right now. Biff Naked, the Canadian rock icon, and Kiyoshi Nagara, the Japanese maestro, George Kohler, who exposed me to the music scene in Canada. Mariam is there. So the similar kind of people are there, but also a new uh, um, uh, band of people from uh, Montreal, the Octopus, the band Octopus. Right now I am uh, uh, just finishing writing the music and I'm mixing it and mixing it with Gary Honest, the sound engineer from Toronto. We are mixing here in London some of the stuff and then he will be also doing some work in Toronto in his uh, own studio. Negative. Go towards, uh, yeah, go towards busing maybe. Well, after the mastering is done, it, the CD will be, I mean, we'll produce a CD obviously and then artwork is going to be done and then followed by we will have to do uh, promotional material so press release and all of those things are going to be written um, date for the concert is going to be fixed where and how and who's going to be playing uh, then the production crew for the shows will be um, contacted and Film crew will be also in in production mode, pre-production mode. So there's a lot of work to be done right now, you know. Why a solo album and why not? First of all, uh, I the pandemic did it, so we couldn't work with other musicians, so I decided to do something on my own. And so that's why how it generated. And, and also at this point in my life, I'm also searching for a new sound. And so this new album is helping me to shape the future. How do you feel about doing this now at this point in your life? Yes, I'm 65. I don't think retirement is a subject matter for musicians or artists. They keep on doing it. I think the day they stop, they die. <laughs> <laughs>